Well, today, Donald Trump Jr. will take the stand at his father's New York fraud trial. The former president, his two oldest sons, and the, and the Trump organization are accused of inflating the values of their properties to obtain financing and tax benefits. They deny any wrongdoing. So for more on this, I want to bring in Seth Barron's flag. He is a defense and compliance attorney. Nice to meet you. OK, let's talk about this. What are prosecutors expected to ask Donald Trump Jr. today? Well, in this case, the attorney general is attempting to throw a dagger into the heart of the Trump brand, namely the New York business organization. And what they're trying to do today is using Donald Trump Jr. as one of the most powerful weapons in their toolbox to accomplish that purpose. Contrary to this witness's positions that he stated in his deposition in the case, he is very personally involved in the case. He is one of the senior most officers in the case. And what the prosecution will show, I believe, is that he was, uh, he was very key, he was involved He's an owner. He's a senior officer. As he admitted in his deposition, he was involved in signing off on key accounting documents. As you know, this uh, is a case where accounting is key. And they're going to assert that basically the organization treated the assets like a fraudulent balloon where they could inflate or deflate in a manner uh, that would serve their financial purposes. So Donald Trump Jr., he's both a defendant and a witness. Does that make him based on my many episodes of Matlock that I've watched. Uh, does that make him a hostile witness? <laughs> yes, you're right. And he's absolutely a hostile witness. And what he'll also try to do is, and this is where he tried to play this game, the deposition is to say, look, I really don't know a lot. I didn't really prepare these financial statements. I really wasn't there on the day to day. Mm. He's going to kind of try to play himself off in a somewhat hostile way as really just sitting in the back of the bleachers. That's not going to work. As Alan Weiselberg testified in his deposition and in this case, particularly in 2016 forward, when the president and Ivanka went to to the White House, Donald Jr. became even more centrally involved, even more read in, even more centrally critical in terms of signing off on the accounting documents. So these statements to the tax authorities and the banks and the insurance companies, they don't go without his signature, especially during that particular time frame. You know, you read my mind because I was thinking, you know, Donald Trump is famous for not really liking technology with the exception of social media. Uh, but I don't know about his kids. And, you know, right. usually there's a paper trail when it comes to this sort of stuff. Um, how is testimony expected to differ with each member of the Trump family? Because we have the two brothers are also uh, uh, defendants in this case, but Ivanka has to testify as well, even though she's not a defendant. That's exactly right. So the way it will unfold this week is that Don Jr. will be testifying today. It's possible that he will go into tomorrow. Um, I think his direct examination will be pretty lengthy. Don't be shocked if his cross-examination will be short because, frankly, I don't think he's going to be a great witness for the defense. Eric will probably testify in the latter part of the week, and then the former president and his daughter will testify next week. Don Jr. is really going to be one of the most critical witnesses, however, and perhaps even more critical than his father. Because in order to be able to win this case, and we're basically in a damages phase now, the judge already ruled in partial summary judgment as to the finding of fraud, they need to be able to really do the accounting, which is really math. And that's where Don Jr. is going to be critical. So at the end of the day, this is basically a kiss of death for the business organization. Hmm. This will probably be a termination of the business and a liquidation as well. Wow. Okay. It's going to be an interesting one. Seth uh, Barron's like, thank you so much.